Oranges are on view yet again. Here we go again. This one is the 21st of November. Whopping great big sale. Don't think we've finished it yet, and it's 850 lots. So we're going to give you a flavor of it as usual. Uh, interesting uh, contributions to this sale. A uh, flat in Sussex Square, um, Brighton, which we've already had some items from, but the furniture and other things have come from that. A, lunch, a property in Belgravia, uh, a mixed contents from there. And then, as always, all sorts of other places have, have su supplied goods to us, which is fabulous. So where do we start? How about a nice uh, metal pig's head? Um, hit the wall hard, as uh, we always say, uh, lot 10. Cast metal. Um, something uh, from the same property. I'm going to remove this Indian hardwood section off of it. and. Um, show you instead this item where I'm struggling already to spot the lot number. No, I'm not. It's lot 46. And it's by Lynn Rosset. Um, so expensive brand, expensive make, nice quality. Um, it, it folds or adjusts to some form, the, uh, the guys were telling me. You've even got a packet with the spare buttons in it. Uh, looks like it needs a bit of a clean. It's white leather. Um, it's got a couple of dents and knocks, but I think they'll, they'll come out with yeah, it's been in the storage unit much of these things. So, um, so yeah, some of some. You can see two gnomes. You can see, and these are uh, Philip Stark, no less. He doesn't like. He really doesn't like gnomes. No gnomes to Philip Taylor, please. Um, yeah, lot forty-two. Philip Stark, the the pair, so to speak. There too, but they are they come as a pair, and yeah, they're great fun. He did them in color, sort of light like color as well, apparently. There we go, lot 42. Always, always something different wow. at Goranges, such as lot 14. How about that for a whopping great helmet? With some quite nice little detail, as one would expect from gilt gesso, old knocks and repairs, but it's sent pretty good overall, considering. Uh, we drift past these Philip Stark mirrors. These will be coming up in the fine sale. Uh, next to it, cracking bed. Lot 39, great big whopper. Very tall though, you're going to need good ceilings for that. Um, and then, what else should we look at? Queen, Queen let's not linger too long on the, well, let's linger on the good old Queen Mum. We need to sell her. At the gnomes, the pig's head, and the Lynn Rosset sofa, and the Queen Mum poster. It had a funky look. This is lot 18. Many people could just regard it as a big frame. But if you love Queen Mum, you get the Queen Mum with it. Um, I carry on down the line. Yes, big heavy doors. Lot 19. We saw a pair of doors like this at the entrance to a trendy restaurant in the Fulham Road, I believe. Is that correct? When we were stuck in the traffic. Um, so, you know, there's an idea. If you've got a trendy restaurant in the Fulham Road, you could use these. Or elsewhere. It doesn't have to be in the Fulham Road. Um, but yeah, they're fun. Uh, another pig's head from the same place. Looks like lot six, boar's head. There we go. Looks like lot 68. Uh, I'm not incredibly strong, sadly. This one is resin or fiberglass or plastic, um, but same decorative effect. How about this for a clothes rail? Really pretty. Lot 21 got that sort of aged appearance about it. It had, did it have, did these ever work? I mean, it looks like these are sort of fused together now, these adjustment um, knobs, but uh, still great fun. Lovely uh, old clothes rail there. We've got wine racks, we've got correction chairs for your children, we've got buffalo horns. Um, quite a lot of Indian carvings I'm seeing scattered about the place. Uh, the metal um, arches are sold, they sold really well actually, but they still do need collecting, whoever bought them, or they'll have to be put outside or something. Um, continuing painted furniture, rather showy yeah. reclining um, seats there. It is lot number 109. You can adjust it. Not much though. You can, you can, you've got three positions. So I suppose that's enough. Nice big, oh, plastic resin urn. There we go. A lot easier to move. Not heavy. Waterproof. Fabulous. You know, who needs the real thing? Um, yeah, these are again from the same property as before. So we've got lot 106 pair of uh, sort of candlesticks for the great big lovely chunky candles and an extinguisher with wax to uh, extinguish said candles and then over the back a pair of these sort of scrolling tree um, 
for the for your tea lights or what have you. I yeah. bet they do look really pretty. And it, they could be uh, Aram, Michael Aram, I think. I was looking. Uh, yeah, another nice big bed. You think this is Anso to bed, don't you? It's lot 82. Um, yes, with a well-fitting, yes. barely used Weisprung. by the look of it, by Sprang mattress, but we don't know. There's no guarantee on the mattress. One could always throw it away and renew it. For your dinner party tonight, lot 102, lots of these, the Just Slate Company. Um, these are hand-cut slate coasters and the like showing there and there's table runners and mats and the like uh, all in the original boxes so they're quite nice you've got things like this is aram i saw it somewhere um lot 87 uh, yes it is a bit like that it's a bit yeah. wiggly isn't it and then with it you get an alessi um wine cooler ice bucket take out the liner it's a colander or a plant holder that leaks and an alessi um dish for oysters or um be a bit too many oysters in one go wouldn't it a dish for something could be snails couldn't it could be snails in there lovely a bit of garlic butter mm, yum uh so how about this here's something here's something to um think oh i'm going to buy that and then you're going to spend lots of time thinking what am i going to do with it now i've got it but if you've got a place or you can build it into a garden or what have you it's indian it feels like sandstone to me lot 141 and it weighs a lot. Uh, then on top of that, we've still got things like long case clocks and pine kitchen tables and garden bits and pieces. So um, yes, all sorts of goodies in the warehouse. We're going to go and look so at here smalls. we are in with the smalls and again, really nice mixture. Let's have a look at this. How about a nice French commode? Lot 518. Yeah, lovely quality. I mean, look at that. Got a marble top. Um, nice quality, well made. Um, the inlay here. Is, is rather splendid and it's it's put together you know really quite nicely it's not of huge age i think that's probably only 30 40 years old is that but but yeah nicely made lot 518 um from the property in london um various wines have come out the cellar and, and they're sort of venerable wines so there's yeah. some some dom perignons of various years including that is 73 lot 519 with genuine cellar dirt upon it but good levels and there's some things like Chateau Montreux, 89, five bottles of that. Uh, somewhere floating about is a um, Latour with no label on it. So we know it's Latour, but we don't know uh, which um, year it is. So it's kind of lucky dip Latour. Uh, what else have we got to show you? How about a lion? We've done pigs and bulls heads. Look at this. This is an artist called uh, Dino Paravano. You can look him up. He's South African. Um, lots online for his work. The title is Young Lion. It is an oil on canvas. It has a gallery label on the back. It's really quite well done, isn't it? It's got that, got that sort of photographic look that wildlife artists do. And this is not Dino Paravano. This is after um, Sir Edwin Lands here. Same man who, yeah, it's a classic, very famous painting. And this is a copy of it, but painted a long time ago, around about 1900, 1910 something like that uh, lot 677 so yes lions are good uh, otherwise a host of different ceramics some nice lots of glass look at this lot 487 not people don't appreciate glass the way perhaps they used to and a lot of the old school glass dealers are no longer um, in business anymore but this lot 487 look at this pair of these superbly cut um, cut to the underside pair of those dishes hard to spot a chip which is a rarity when something's of that age and look at this one look again you know this is 200 years old or so that lovely lead color that you get with the denton antiques label in it um, with the original stand look star cut to the base star cut to the base of the dish another larger piece various other bits so a little mixed lot of glass there look, this this again i'm raving on about this but still look at that beautifully cut nice lead color and yeah. all these little lappets are still intact long may, long may it remain so well maybe not so much no something in glass more contemporary and, and a bit more solid lot 504 this is classic um Orifors, the swedish glass factory with the game birds looks like pheasants 
Um, quite a nice lump of glass at that. Um, then we've got a mixture. Our, our, our friend from France has been in bringing over various assorted, a lot of Art deco -y type pieces and period pieces, such as Lot 500, the uh, stork looking in the water, and uh, Lot 493, the footballer in Spelter, very nicely modelled. You like this? Yeah. Let's pick on something awkward, don't you? Sorry. Not at all. This is um, 499. Yeah. So this one is very much uh, secessionist in, this, in style. So the Austro-German form of arts and crafts with the, this sort of geometric stylized design is typical secessionist. Um, not marked to the underside that I can see. And with it, you get this copper and brass pot that is not really secessionist it's just a pot um it's just pretty there we go so there we go one always has to go for what you like don't yeah, we? we always say this every so. time um so let's drift around there's a few paintings she looks a bit like London, those paintings. well she looks a bit like marilyn monroe according to uh, the label oh really yeah marilyn monroe oh. malibu beach um and this was um painted by tommy merrifield so i imagine it's you know, and, and then he has he's just a poster but he has signed it in the flesh so to speak um there's some good guitars in the cell paul paul is our guitar man and he says the guitars are very good there's a nice mixture in here um ovation guitars apparently very good make with the rounded back more desirable he says that have a look at the website as always there's a fender here there's a gibson so there's some good guitars in mint condition because the chap that owned them didn't play the guitar he just liked owning guitars so that gives you the ideal condition that they haven't been rock and rolled um something a bit older but rather nice to my eye 697s pair of engravings a few of the menagerie and pavilion the royal gardens at kew and another one there the avery and parterre at kew and uh really nice these um i don't know 1770s 1780s uh, genuine engravings of the period, hand coloured, which means someone's coloured them in in watercolour by hand. Uh, lovely frames, yeah. superbly conditioned frames. So nice lot there, lot 697. Um, we've got some taxidermic fish. We've got lots of uh, blue and white ceramics and pottery and the like. Um, there are other things such as these. Um, now I know what to make on these. Riedel, you said, didn't you? Yeah, they're Rydell. Riedel, right Rydell. Right now, um, candlesticks, I, yeah, candlesticks, as showing in the picture. Um, more champagne, can never have too much champagne. Various other glasses, Von Romanet there, look, 389 from 1959. Uh, looking a little bit sad around the capsule, but it hasn't had the cork removed. Nice lot of Baccarat glass, 442. This is Baccarat with the individually fitting stoppers, so they all are purpose made to fit. Um, you've got a set of six bottle decanters and a Baccarat candelabrum broom as well. Yeah, that's substantial. All one piece. Um, oh, actually, no, these, these rotate, interestingly. But anyway, there we go. That's uh, a lot of glass. And then carrying on all sorts of other goodies, uh, more pictures. Yes, I was. Yes, so we've got um, some Ruskin vases, Ruskin pottery, lot 250. Classic, that orange is a very classic Ruskin colour, but then also there is there are other options available, such as, gets the number out, 253. There we go, got the Ruskin stamp, yep. 1923, and then these lovely sort of iridescent glazes. Um, Jack showed a bowl, which is this one. 285, that is incredibly thin and delicate, finely potted, got 285, Ruskin again. There's Moorcroft, there's always Chinese. These are dogs and they look a bit like Frank, whoops, Frank Butler. Um, but they're not Frank Butler, they're someone similar. Uh, from 1876, Inworth did similar things. 261, um, it's all here as ever. So come along and have a look. There's a really good lot of silver yeah. in this one, but there's so much there you're gonna have to look online to see it. Um, as always, there's jewellery as well. So really nice mix sale, over 850 lots. Come along and view it. You'd be crazy not to. You'd miss out on all sorts of goodies. Uh, otherwise, send us inquiries and we will respond as quickly as we can as ever. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you one way or the other. Thank you very much.